everybody. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm kind of having some issues with my microphone. It seems to be working fine like when I'm on Skype, but for some reason when I record the volume is really low, so you might just have to turn it up a little bit. I really apologize. I don't know why it's not working. Um, but today I am here to do a vlog, and this is the dialect vlog. I saw this on That Wife's blog, and it's something that she did, and I thought it was really neat. Um, you can hear the way that people in different parts of the country or different parts of the world speak and the way that their accent is and the way that um, some of, you know, different words or different colloquialisms come across. Um, so I wanted to do that for y'all. I am from Texas, in case you didn't know. Um, I'm from North Texas and actually I'm out um, from a place out in the country that's like the boondocks is what I call it. So I have a really thick accent. Um, but you probably don't hear my accent right now. And I think it's really funny because I was speaking um, with my friend Rachel from Boston Not Common, and um, she's from Louisiana. So we were talking about doing this dialect vlog and how cool it would be. And she said, well, you know, I have two accents. I have like my professional accent, and then, you know, I have my coon ass accent. And I thought that was hilarious because it's the same thing that I have growing up um, in the South. You know, if you're gonna go into business or you're gonna travel or you're going to go really anywhere and want people to take you seriously, you kind of have to learn how to put your accent to the side and not sound um, like a true southerner. Um, so that's something that I learned to do from a really early age because I spent a lot of time in Boston as a kid. Um, so I pretty much learned to kind of put my accent on the shelf as much as I could because I got made fun of a lot during uh, summer camp and such. So I am going to try to do this in my Kunas accent. <laughs> if you um, hear me when like my inhibitions are down or when I'm talking to somebody that is from the South, you will hear my accent come straight right out. Um, but it just in normal talk, you probably won't hear it that much. So um, all the words that I'm going to say are down below. You can just uh, scroll down a little bit if you want to follow along. And then I added in a couple of words that um, will really like showcase how a Texas accent sounds. Um, for the most part, like the accent that I have, we um, shorten a lot of words, so you'll hear like a lot of the time if there's an I in the middle of a word, like the emphasis will go onto that I and it'll shorten off the end of that word, so it'll sound um, kind of ridiculous, but you'll hear it. So I'm just going to go through, I'm going to say all of these words. Um, if I know that they say it a certain way, like in New England, from my time up there, then I'll say that too, just in case you guys don't know. Um, so I'm just going to read these words. Um, aunt is the first one, and if you're in New England, it's aunt. Um, root, <laughs> and then if you are in New England, it's usually route. Wash, oil, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, sure, data, run, <laughs> um, crayon. Although I honestly say this crown, and I have no idea why. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I've always just said crown. Um, but if I was going to say it and try not to sound stupid, I'd say crayon. Um, toilet, well, I'm sorry, toilet, New Orleans, pecan, I know a lot of people say pecan, I hate that. Both, again, probably, spit and image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, although sometimes I think I say coupon, but I think I usually say coupon. Mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas, cot. And then basically, um, for Texas, like the Texas accent, some of the keywords that I always say to people um, is like white, <laughs> white, right, sight, anything with an I in the middle, we definitely shorten that. Hunting is the same kind of thing, we, we just take the emphasis off of the NG. Um, fixin' is a really big thing. People will say, I'm fixin' to go to the store, I'm fixin' to do this. I made myself stop saying that as a kid, but a lot of people say that here. Um, and then truck. I know some people in New England call them pickup trucks. I absolutely cannot stand that. It is a truck. <laughs> um, just like an 18-wheeler here is a rig, usually. I don't know if y'all have ever heard that. And then, of course, y'all, I say that all the time, and I kind of try to train myself out of saying it and say you guys instead, but um, I say y'all almost all the time unless I'm thinking about it. Um, so then the answer to these questions, what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? Um, TP, which I actually have never done, if you believe that. Um, what is the bug that when you touch it, it curls into a ball? Um, that's a roly poly. I know some people call it a pill bug, but I, I've always called it a roly poly. What is um, the bubbly carbonated drink called? 
Okay, so in Texas, or at least in where I'm from, it's Coke. Everything is Coke. And then, so you'll say, do you want a Coke? And somebody will say, yeah. And you'll say, okay, well, what kind? Because I have Sprite, I have Dr. Pepper, I have 7-Up, I have Coke. So you always call it Coke. Um, if I had to choose another word to call it, I would call it a soda. My grandmother calls it um, a cold drink, which I think is kind of weird. She's the only person I've ever met that said that. Um, what do you call gym shoes? Those are tennis shoes or tennies. Um, what do you say to address a group of people? That's y'all. Uh, what do you call the kind of spider that has an oval shaped body and extremely long legs? That's a daddy long legs. What do you call your grandparents? Um, so on my mom's side, it's grandmother and granddaddy. And then on my dad's side, it's actually Oma and Opa, which is German for grandmother and grandfather. So that's just kind of like a family tradition. Um, but if I was referring to anybody's grandparents, it'd be grandmother or grandfather. Um, what do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry your groceries at the supermarket? That's a shopping cart. What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? I really have no idea. It doesn't really rain here that much. <laughs> and I don't have a word for this, sorry. Um, and then what is the thing that you change the TV channel with? That's a remote or a channel changer. Um, so that's just kind of an idea of how my accent sounds if I'm really like trying to make it heard. Um, so hopefully you guys could hear it and if you ever want me to say a sling of words then I'll say them and maybe y'all can hear my accent come out a little bit more. Um, so hopefully more people will do this so that I can see all of y'all talk. I think that'd be really cool. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.